Tasmania is known for nature and wildlife that's different from the mainland. Getting up close to unique animals is one of the top tourist activities here in northeastern Tassie. Seahorse World at Beauty Point claims to have been the first commercial seahorse farm in the world and one of only a few running today. It opened up to tourists because so many people were curious. Visitors can see the mating dance of the potbelly seahorse, where the male puffs out his belly pouch to attract potential partners with an impressive claim to fame. The reason that the male has a pouch is the male carries the babies and gives birth. Only animal on the planet we know of where this happens, which is pretty cool. Owner Craig Hawkins has managed to successfully breed some of the rarest fish on Earth and release them back into the wild. Yeah, so the spotted hand fish, uh, well it's a, it's a guesstimate I guess, but uh, about a thousand individuals left. So it's one of the rarest fish known to man. Uh, the red hand fish has even far less, uh, maybe a hundred in the wild or so are some of the estimates. And we have released some of those back to the wild that we've raised from juveniles as well. Just across the wharf is Platypus House, where two very special Australian animals, platypuses and echidnas, venture close to humans. They're the monotropes, egg-laying mammals. Only two on the planet, platypus and echidna. And we're so lucky in Australia, we've got them both. Owner Peter Gibson fell in love with Platypus House back in 2015 when he decided to buy it. Just like other tourism operators in the region, the business had a tough ride during the pandemic. Oh, hell and back. Yes, COVID really smashed a big hole. In it. But now it's crawling back to life with people keen to experience the wonders of some of Australia's timid and reclusive species. Even when you do see them in the wild, you never quite understand what they're up to or how they're going about things. But when you come here, you will. You live in their world. At nearby Rowella, New Zealander Tony Cox also fell in love with the business he decided to buy around the same time. The Lavender House Perfumery, where he crafts natural perfumes by steaming local flowers. Today, he's quickly mixing together a Middle Eastern scent designed for a man. Anybody can do this. It's, it's within everybody's range to do it. Just a little bit of reading, a little bit of understanding and trusting your instinct, particularly trusting your nose to smell it. Perfumes reflect, our, reflect us. That, in a very deep level, is actually coming from your hormonal systems that are, that are guiding you on, on what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Working with essential oils has shown him what nature is capable of. The benefits of it we found quite immense. We've, we, we treat a lot of people who come in here looking for everything from pain relief, stress relief, uh, relaxation, insomnia, skin conditions. There you go, Joel. Thank you very Bottle much. Bottle of perfume for you, sir. Wow. Enjoy that. Looks amazing. All right, I'll give it a try. Excellent. Here we go. How's that? It smells really fresh. Not it's too heavy. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. fresh, right? Very good. It smells natural. It is natural. Just like the region. 